An SAPD officer will not face charges in the shooting death of Marquise Jones and a hung jury in the Freddie Gray trial. Plus, the reviews are in from a galaxy far, far away. It's all in today's in case you missed it. We've made it to Hump Day Wednesday, December 16th. We begin with late breaking news a Bear County grand jury voting to not indict an SAPD officer in the shooting death of Marquise Jones. Jones shot by Officer Robert Encina at a drive through of a Chacho's restaurant on Loop 410 in Perimbital back in February of last year. Officer Encina claims that he thought Jones was armed and feared for his life, and that's when he opened fire. A hung jury in the case of a police officer in Baltimore charged in the death of Freddie Gray, a Baltimore judge says the jury could not reach its decision after three days of deliberations in Officer William Porter's trial. This system has never been deployed. It's time we change the system. The Department of Homeland Security has issued a bulletin to warn Americans that individuals inspired by terrorist groups could attack at any time. This is the first time this type of warning has ever been issued. The new federal courthouse in San Antonio has taken a giant step towards becoming a reality. The money, $135 million, has now been included in an omnibus funding bill. San Antonio was number eight on the list of courthouses awaiting funding. I think I can speak on behalf of my staff that we're all willing to put up with a few more fleas for a couple of years. Uh, looking forward to this building finally getting built. The stars have nothing but love for the new star. Star Wars film. Celebrities who attended the world premiere this week of Star Wars The Force Awakens not afraid to let their inner geeks shine. Joseph Gordon Levitt and the office's Rain Wilson both dressed the part. Wilson went on to tweet the movie was epic, awesome, and perfect.